Hello students, today we're going to go over uh, lesson 1.1. We're going to go over our uh, line segment, line, ray, point. Uh, so just a couple things for vocabulary purposes. Uh, as far as a line, a line is, um, goes on forever in either direction. So you're going to say arrows on, e on either side. We could name it, so we could say, like this is A, this is B, so we'd say this is line A, B. Okay, so you have a line that continues on one direction, in, in both directions, in opposite directions. You can also have now, so this is a line, then we have a line segment. The line segment just comes to an end. So it has two end points, A, B, so we label this A, B, line segment, line on top with no arrows. We have a ray, a ray starts at one end and continues, it has a, comes to an ending point and continues on the opposite direction. So we label a ray, so we could say a ray is A, B. Since the arrow is going to B, we could label it that way. We could also go B, A, this way, B, A and we would go the other way. So the arrow is pointing to B, so either way that you label it goes to B. I could switch the order of this. I could say BA. I could switch this. This is BA as well. The order doesn't matter. For a line segment and a line, it won't matter as far as how you put it. If I just want to label a point, we just label a point A, B, C, whatever you want. What we're going to go through today now is we're going to go through construction. So you're going to need um, your protractor and your compass as we go through it. Uh, one um, first uh, postulate that we come to is a uh, segment addition. Just saying if this segment AB plus BC is going to give me this total one. So if this were 5, this were 3, 5 plus 3 is uh, 8. So we could say AC, line AC equals 8 units. Okay, so we're saying the two part, smaller parts will uh, added together will equal that whole line as we go through. What we're going to do now is going to use our compass and our protractor to draw the segment that they want us to. So they say, hey, draw segment AB plus CD. So in order to do that, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to draw a ray. Since we're adding these two together, we're going to make it a nice long ray. So I want it to be nice and long that I know it's bigger than this and this combined. So I'm going to make it long. all the way to the end of my screen. Okay, so we have a nice long legs line segment as, or right now we just have, we could actually make this a ray. So we're gonna draw a ray, make sure it's nice and long. So I have my ray here. Then I go ahead, take my compass, and I measure the distance of AB, and then I go ahead and measure AB. Put it in there. So now I know that this would be A, and this would be B. Okay, so I know I have this part, so now I'm going to measure CD. And I'm going to add it to AB, so I just go to the end of where B was, and I draw my arc. And now I know that this is from C all the way to D. So we could say, here's my segment, A to D. So we've drawn it. Same idea down here, if I want to do AB plus CD, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to draw a nice long ray that I know is longer than both of these. Actually, I'm going to do something a little bit different, okay? I'm going to change this one up. Instead of saying, I'm going to say that this is AB minus CD. So I'm going to draw AB, so here's A. Okay, so then I'm going to measure it. So I'm going to measure AB. And I draw my line. So that's where it is, there's my ray. So I know that right here, this is A to B. Now I want to subtract CD, so I'm going to measure CD. And then from the end of it, I'm going to subtract it. So we're going to go here. Okay, and that's our segment. So really what we're only interested in for this one is that part right there. Up here, we're going from here, adding it. So we went here, A to B, then added to it, made it longer. When we subtract, we're going to make it shorter. Okay? So it doesn't matter whether the distance 
uh, from R to S or the distance from R to uh, S to R. It doesn't matter the order in which I put it. So it doesn't matter if I were to draw a line out here and say, hey, I'm going from S to R, R, or R to S. It doesn't matter the order in which I put it. So now we're going to go ahead and look at the distance formula. Here it is. The distance formula is the difference between the two points squared. So it's the sum of the differences squared. So we come down here, we want to find the distance of AB and CD. So AB, if I look at it, so I have this point here at negative 4, 4. I have B, that's 1, 2. So I just write it here. This is negative 4, 4, and this is 1, 2. And we want to go ahead and find the distance, tell, determine whether the given segments have the same length. If they have the same length, they'll be equal. Okay, so I'm going to subtract my x values. So my x values are negative 4, 1. So negative 4 minus 1 squared plus, now here are my y values, 4 minus 2 squared. And we're going to take the square root of all that. So negative 4 minus 1 would be negative 5 squared, plus 4 minus 2 is 2 squared, 5 squared, 5 times 5 is 25, plus 2 times 2 is 4, 25 plus 4 is 29. And we're just going to leave it as the square root of 29. I don't need to estimate out what they are. Uh, excuse me. So this is just the point. This, this was A and this is B. Now I have to do CD. So C, the point C is 2, 1, 2, 3. So I have 2, 3, that's one point. And then I have the point D, which is 4, negative 2. And so now I'm going to subtract my x value. So 2 minus 4, it doesn't matter if you switch the order. If you went 4 minus 2, it won't matter squared. Plus 3 minus negative 2 squared. We're going to take the square root of that. 2 minus 4 is negative 2 squared. 3 minus the not minus makes that addition. So that's 5 squared. 2 squared is 4. 5 squared is 25. 4 plus 25 is 29. And then we compare. Are these distances equal? Yes, they're equal. Using our distance formula, we compare them. So that's how you go about using the distance formula on this. We could compare that one as well, okay? So again, we can determine if the lengths are the same using the distance formula. The next one that we go into is the midpoint formula. Midpoint is the middle. We want to find the middle. Um, in order to, so if it's the middle, then I know from here, P to M is going to equal M to Q. If this side's 5, that side has to be 5. So to find the midpoint, okay, um, using our first row paper folding technique, so if I have to take paper folding technique, here's the idea. It's not going to be long enough, but let's just say I have A to B on here. So I'm going to draw on here. Here's A, and I draw my line on here. Here's B. Paper folding technique is this. I take A, and I fold it to B. I put A point A on point B. I hold it down, and then I fold it in half, or I fold it where that matched up, and then I look at it. That line right there where I have that crease, that is now the mid-segment. So we know A to M is going to equal M to B. So that's called the paper folding technique. Just fold that point to that point. Match them up, make a crease. And to do it using our compass, is you take your compass and you're just going to estimate out. Oh, I'm going to open it up about halfway. So this is about halfway. And then I'm going to draw the arc, the arc that I get from that. So I'm going to draw this arc, comes up like this. So I went about halfway, I want to go more, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open up past halfway, and I draw the arc. If I do that, you're going to see these two arcs that I made are going to intersect. Right there, and right there. So I put a point where those two intersect, and now I'm going to use my protractor to connect them. So I come through, and I connect them as I go through. So this right here 
That point right there, that's my M. That's my midpoint. So A to M equals M to B. Again, if you were to look at it, okay, J to K, I take my compass. All that matters is that I open it up past halfway. Doesn't matter how far past halfway, just that I open it up past halfway and I draw an arc. I open it up past halfway and I draw my arc. Again, we're going to get two points of intersection where the two arcs cross. So we draw our point here, draw our point here, and then we connect as we go through. And there's my midpoint. So again, to, to do the midpoint, we draw our two points of, of intersection. Okay, last thing is going to use the midpoint formula. To find the midpoint means we add our two x values, divide by two, add our two y values, divide by two. Understand the midpoint uh, is an order pair. It's an x value and a y value. So when I come here, I want to find the midpoint of these two. This is my x value. That's my x value. So here are my two x values. So negative 4 plus 2, divide by 2, that's my x value. And then I add my y values together. My y values are 1 and negative 3. So 1 plus negative 3, divide by 2. Again, if I were to switch the order, I just want to do them both. So I could say 2 plus negative 4 and negative 3 plus 1. So it doesn't matter if you switch the order. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2, divide by 2. 1 plus negative th uh, 3 is negative 2 divided by 2. So in this case, it's negative 1, negative 1. Will it always be that? No. They won't always be the same. Now let me do one more example with it. So we want to find the midpoint uh, right here. Okay, so then I take my x values, 3 and negative 3. So 3 plus negative 3 divided by 2. Take my y values, 5 plus negative 1. Divide by 2. 3 plus negative 3 is 0. Divide by 2. 5 plus negative 1 is 4. Divide by 2. So it would be 0, 2. That right there is my midpoint. So two things that you're going to go through, drawing segments. Uh, make sure you use your compass protractor. Start with a ray and then measure those distances and go from there. Uh, distance formula, remember the distance formula. I'll put it on here is the square root of the difference, so subtracting your x values, square plus the difference, and your y values square. So that's the distance formula. It will give you one value, one single value. Midpoint is the addition, you're adding and dividing by 2, adding your y values together, divide by 2. So that's our first lesson.